Hello and welcome to Kerry's Cards. Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to create these two lovely little cards we've got here um, using just a plain piece of white card. It looks like it's got, um, I suppose, bars across or wooden slats across, but essentially it's just one piece of white card. I'm not sure if you can see, it's just no embellishments whatsoever and it's all printed, all it's stamped. So let me take you through the stages that we need for, to do these. So the first thing we need to do, I'll just pop those to one side. I'm going to be using the Forever Fern um, die uh, stamps that we have here. And I'm going to use these lovely um, soft balmy colours actually for today's card because I think they're nice and gentle. So we're going to mint macaroon, balmy blue and sea foam, soft sea foam. So to start with, just put that to one side and our stamp pads there but we're going to use a trusted um, post-it note for uh, today's card or the top layer anyway and basically I've gone for the bigger size of the um, post-it notes just because it means then it goes all the way across the card um, that we're going to use. The card base I'm using here is uh, actually just slightly too big so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So the base card is going to be um, four inches by five and three quarters then the next one down is quarter of an inch down so this one needs to be um you'll see uh four three and a half inches by five and a quarter inches That's going to be the topper of the card. Let's just get rid of those two little bits. This is my new trimmer that I've got this week and I'm absolutely loving it. I love the fact that the, the blades are sharp and nice and smooth and we've got the arm that comes out, she says. So we measure lots of different sizes of card. And again, we've got the metric measures there, lift, fold and the um, scorer. It's all yeah, very exciting. Quite sad, really, but quite exciting. Right, so... Let's get our piece of card that we have there. Now, I've taken my grid piece of paper below. I've got on um, inches. And just as a guide now, I'm going to go down four, four little squares. So I've lined it up at the top, four little squares down on either side. And I'm going to take, we're going to do sea foam, soft sea foam today. So another little tip that I've got here is the sponge daubers that we have. I've actually um, got a little printer that prints off sticky labels so that I know what colour it is, even though sometimes you can tell by the, the tops of them after they've been in it, they go a bit dark. So just ink up your um, sponge dobber, just gently in the corner, and then go in gently, and it doesn't actually look like you're putting much on, but you actually don't want much on. And go from the post-it note into the white card so if I lift that up now, it doesn't look like I've actually put much on, but it's such a gentle and subtle line that we've created. And I'm going to go another four down. Put post it down, get some more ink and do exactly the same again. Just load it up very gently and a couple of layers at a time. Not happy again, just check and see what you've got there again. Very subtle. I'm hoping you can see that on the camera. Oh, line it up, do the same again. Just gently rub it off the post it note. So it gives it almost a 3D look even though we're not on 3d we've not done 3d um it looks a bit like shiplap shiplap that's the right word isn't it shiplap and then i'll do one more And it really doesn't look like I'm putting much on, but I'm, I'm not actually putting much on. I'm not sure if you can see that in the very subtle lines that we've got there. So from there, I'm going to pop in my 
leaves from the Forever Fern section. And I'm going to actually stamp the images using the same colour, but I don't want them to go all the way down. So I'm going to border back off where we on one of the lines, ink up, and then just overlay my stamp. So it's really, really subtle. And then I'm going to lift that. So it's a way of masking. So it looks like it's actually coming out of the card. And I'm going to do the same on this one here. So it just looks like they're popping out of the card. Let's put that to one side. Now I'm going to layer this one up with um, Balmy Blue. So for my font and my text this time around, I'm going to say you can do this, but I'm going to say you can do this in blue, Balmy Blue. Last one, I'm going to use mint macaron and just use the splatters. Do you notice then I didn't actually re ink it up, I've just used the residual ink. It's called third and second generation stamping. Okay. So from there, then let's build up our base card so we used mint macaron and we used sea foam and we used balmy blue i store all my cards in um wallets any card that i've got in the clear wallet so that i can see and they stay clean and dry then as well so looking at this, I think actually I'm going to mount this onto the dark first, then the blue. I'm not going to use the mint macaron. So let's get the base layers ready. So the base layer, we're going to have a card that is six, let's this way, six and a half, there, five and three quarter inches by eight because we're going to fold it in half at four and a half inches so I'm actually going to use my um, folder scorer on the trimmer you see a really nice solid line there it's very easy then to fold the card in half so that's our base I'm then going to oh, make sure I don't get ink on the card base do my topper which is the next layer down so we're going to do this five and a half by four and three quarters Let's pop those to one side I'm going to take my Trusted Tombow glue. Layer it up for the base. And then I'm actually going to get some 3D, 3D dimensional foam pads to pop on the back of the car just to right, raise it up slightly. them off tidy up as I go along I'm very good today aren't I and then just centre that so that's the equivalent to that card but a slightly different colourway oh I missed the sparkly bits there so this is from the um, floristry cards I think um, so I think these are lovely. They come in sheets. 
and you can just pick which colour you want to add to it. And for this one, I think I'm just going to go with the same colour, actually, the blue. And then just dot them around. I normally do them in threes. Give it a finish and a little bit of a, a, a bling, a bit of bling. So that's the first one. We'll move on and make the second one. Very similar approach, but slightly different colours. So again, we'll take our white topper that we have there, a plain white topper. I'm going to cut it down to size again because it's just a tad too big. So it needs to be three and a half by five and a half and whilst I've got the trimmer out I'm going to get the bases ready for the others as well so the top so it's um three and three quarters by six I'm oh, sorry five and a half let's just check if I've done that right yeah, already done it. Okay. So I'm going to use the mint macaron for this one as my base colour. So again, we'll go on to side. You can use the same post-it note that we had before, but I'm going to do slightly larger lines on this one. So whereas before I went down four um, squares, I'm going to go down five. About there, about there. And again, just gently, which is quite a lot on that. See, there was quite a lot on to start. That's why you go the bottom first and then up. Okay. Super quick. Four, five. You really are just using the residual bit of colour that's on the sponge dauber. Obviously, it's up to you if you wanted to make it darker, you could. Too dark. Let's see if I can blend that in a little bit more. Ooh. See now that's much darker that one. But doesn't matter. One more. really like that one there we go nice and light and then I'm going to do the same with my images but I'm going to use change the leaf to this one put that one on the card link him up and put a nice low one on this one Love the detail on the leaves on this. I'm going to do exactly the same there. Lift that one off. You see the detail in the in the etching of the. Oh, there we go. So much detail. And again, I'm going to actually do the same um, wording I'm going to say actually to a friend that makes me smile to a friend that makes me smile and I'm going to pop it down there okay. I'm just going to 
she said I'm supposed to clean these up but actually I'm cleaning them up with my hands because they're such light colours that we're using and I'm going to use the seafoam mist soft foam just to add a little bit of splatter on to a bit more of a grungy look then from there I'm going to load up that's my base layer there and then I need to decide what colour base I'm going to do as in the main of the card I think I'm going to do that one okay so this card then is going to be eight inches I'm going to score at four because that's how we're going to fold make sure we use the light one rather than the dark one and then I'm going to cut at five and three quarters here we have same as we did before, load it up with some ink glue. Make it nice and symmetrical. And then I'm going to take my 3D dimensionals, give it a bit of height. Not much, because it's obviously quite a flat card because we've not got many layers on it in terms of we're just using the um post-it note lines really for the where we've sponged it load that one on there there we are so that then gives us our third card second card which is similar similar but different and again I just get my sparkles. This time I might put yellow on instead of the blue. But again, I think I'm going to keep it all the same colourway, I think. I'll just pop some of these on. On that. On that. And on there. So there we have. Simple, very easy. Um, cards, two different colourways, and let's get them all inked up, um, and just using a post-it note and a sponge dauber. Thank you for watching, and I hope have a, I look forward to seeing what you make yourself. Bye.